Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended. In this episode, we're going to show you how to catch and tame a um, your very own Megalodon. So basically all you want to do is build like a little trap like this in the water. So this is just four stone uh, dinosaur gates and then it's got um, some uh, stone roofs for the bottom and then stone roofs and ramps for the top. Now you want to build it in an area where there's plenty of um, megalodons. I have turned the fog off just so we can see a bit better over here. Oh yeah, there's one over there. We'll see if we can track him over. And so yeah, you want to have this trap already ready. And you want to have a raft close by. And that just sort of helps um, with like safety in a way. Hey mate. That's it. Come this way. That just sort of helps with safety. And so what you want to do is try bring him around to the right side. Oh wait, we've got one right here. Here we go. So you want to get him to swim in. And he'll get trapped in like that. And then all you do is you bring out your stone gate. Like this. Oh, didn't put it in. Oh yeah, I did. I think. Yeah, you want to place your stone gate like that and you'll get him trapped in just like so and so once you this is also why you want it near near the surface so you can come back up and get your oxygen pretty pretty easily now once he's in there he shouldn't be able to get out and you should be able to get up on your raft here um and not have too many dramas from any other sharks or creatures and things like that now you can come off your edge here oh not that close to the edge <laughs> You can come off the edge here and then what you want to do is basically start taming him up so we shouldn't take too many um uh, narco arrows i find the bow is probably the best thing for these because um when i use the crossbow it tends to kill them so So we shouldn't be able to get out. It should be trapped. So we'll just see how many this takes. Not too sure what level this guy was. Let's just hope we don't kill him. I think if we just do like little... Little things like that. Probably got less chance of killing him. Oh, got another shark around. Come on, mate. Alright. Should be getting there. Surely. Just make sure he's not already knocked out. He's looking pretty bloody, actually. Isn't he? Is he dead? Oh, he's already knocked out. Okay. <laughs> we might have hit him um, a few too many times there. So, go into him. Uh, put your, your stuff in there. Uh, usually, you would use a um, little bit of narcotics, too, just to sort of keep him knocked out. But, yeah, he shouldn't be too bad. And then yeah, just like that is how you do it. So I'll come back up here and just wait on my raft where it's nice and safe. So you will get other creatures coming and things. So that's where something like this would come in handy. Um, just to sort of shoo them away. So if something like this shark come, you'd probably hit them a few times and yeah, they tend to run away. But if you're not in the water, they don't tend to um, come over anyway. They tend to leave you alone. But it shouldn't take too long to tame up, I don't think. He did take a little bit just then, though, didn't he? But that's basically how you do it. So it's a very simple trap. I might get this out of my hand because it keeps, like, locking onto him. Um, 
But yeah, it's a pretty simple trap. It's literally just four dinosaur gates, and then you use the fifth one. You probably, like I said, you probably could use it um, out of out of wood. But yeah, I wouldn't fully recommend that. But it could possibly be done. And then yeah, it's just got the stone pillars at the end. Um, of course, now this guy's coming real close. Gotta keep an eye on him. Yes, yeah, so this guy might take a little bit to tame out, a bit longer than what I thought he would. Uh, you can get more meat from these guys, because I think they do give out prime meat or something, possibly. We'll just make sure he's not coming this way. Usually when you shoot him with these, he tends to um, go away. Definitely he's coming straight for us. What are you doing, Chuck? Yes, you will start swimming away now. Yeah, they don't like um, crank arrows. So, they, um, yeah, when you start shooting them with crank arrows, they basically just swim away. That's why you need this cage. Because otherwise, yeah, he'll, he'll just keep, you know, if you hit him and the minute he starts to get too knocked out, he's just going to swim away from you. And then. It becomes quite hard to tame them. Oh, it's coming back. Coming back for round two. Hey, mate, what do you want? Hey, what do you want? Come here. Ooh. What are you doing? Being sus. what sort of meat he gives us yeah so he gave us a little bit of um prime meat we might chuck that into him unfortunately this guy's health's like really low now um a little bit my own fault there but yeah so you got to keep an eye on him because as you've seen it didn't really look like i was knocking him out um and then yeah only to find out actually was Oh, that scared me. <laughs> yeah, so the prime meat tames them up way faster. And it also tames them up um, with better um, efficiency, which gives you better stats. So the better the efficiency, the, um, the higher the stat is. You know, like, you end up getting more levels out of them in the end. Oh, that freaked me out. <laughs> I was like, what is that big shadow? <laughs> but yeah. So it's a pretty simple trap. Um, you probably wouldn't want to leave this laying around, you know, on an official server. Um, you may be able to make this on a raft, like under a raft possibly, and do the same same thing, you know. So, yeah, we'll probably give that a try once, one, one day. But yeah, it wouldn't be too difficult, I reckon, to create one of these under a raft. And then, yeah, you, that way you can move it around because that's the biggest problem with this trap is you got to have it in one spot. And then, you know, the sharks, they just tend to swim all the way around. And then anytime you're trying to tame one up, there's none to be found. You know, they're, they're all over the place other than where you want it to be. So this guy shouldn't take too much longer if he doesn't get killed by something. And then, yeah, you'll have yourself a, a megalodon. Not too sure what level this guy was. I don't really want to jump in the water because I don't want to attract other stuff over to us. And that's a good reason of why you have the raft here too. Just to sort of, you know, be safe, keep an eye on things. Make it work a little bit better. You know, work smarter, not harder, as they say. <laughs> but yeah, you could use this trap also for like um, other things. You could use like smaller version of it where you're only using the pillars around the edge instead of dinosaur gates and it'll um you'll be able to catch the the manta ray looking things yeah so one more one more and this guy's done there you going buddy one more and this guy's done 
But yeah, so that is basically how you tame a Megalodon. So if you like that, hit that like button, subscribe, all that really good stuff. Um, it certainly helps the algorithm, you know, helps, helps out the channel. I've got plenty of other um, taming videos on the channel. So if any of you just want to see that sort of stuff, yeah, just subscribe to my channel. I've got a whole playthrough um, on the channel. And then, yeah, I've got a bunch of other taming videos as well. And there'll be a lot more coming up. Uh, I plan to upload all the new maps as they come as well. So if you all want to see that, then yeah, hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. All right, this guy shouldn't take too much longer. One more bite. There we go. And that's how you do it. That's how you do it. So yeah. Now we've got ourselves a Megalodon. He's actually a lot lower level than what I thought he was, but... <laughs> You know, you might want to check that before you tame him and get a bit higher of a level. But, yep, yeah, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next episode. See you later.